hit a devil. And you got to hit a devil where it hurts. Their pocketbook. As long as you support this agenda, this country is going to continue to deteriorate. This country is going to continue to spiral down until it figuratively speaking, if not literally, crash and burn. This country is headed for destruction. This world is headed for destruction because the people that set the theme and the tone for this world are not properly doing their job. And I'm not talking about everybody, so don't get offended. I'm talking about the ones that make the final judgment call. I'm talking about the ones that make the final decision that is set in stone, and that's what people live by. Those are the folks that I'm talking about. This word is headed for destruction. Uh, I, you know, that's all I can say about it, and and the rest is up to God. That's all I I just had to speak on it today because I'm tired of seeing people stand beside the road begging for stuff and uh, things that they need. And years ago, I didn't see that. Years ago, you know, people had homes and they weren't being put out of their homes, you know, because of um, things that are out of their control. It would be the landlord's responsibility to make sure that those homes are suitable for human occupancy. And the thing that gets me with money is it doesn't really even have any value. Oh, my God. That's the thing about it. That's the thing about having your mind in prison in this matrix. Once you come out of the matrix, you see that all of this stuff was created around you. None of it matters. All of it is man-made. Money is man-made. Everything, all the rules, all the regulations, man-made. There's not a rule that has been made that cannot be changed. Not one. The pay rate being set, set for what it is. And I don't even know what the minimum wage is nowadays. That can be changed. That can be raised. People may say, oh, well, you know, there are complex issues that come into play. And, you know, it would just disrupt the whole economy. And it's just so many different hands and so many different um, levels to this and that and the third. Look, look, don't give me a bunch of hogwash. Don't give me a bunch of hogwash. Because for the people that are not suffering, for the people that have decent salaries, they may not be rich, but you got decent salaries that are the so-called shop callers, there's something you can do. Uh, look, look, run your game on somebody else because the American public are not stupid, okay? Maybe you got a few stupid ones out there, but uh, the, I think the vast majority know what's popping out here, okay? So I'm going to keep it real. And um, as far as it pertains to what's going on in the world, you know, like I said, you know, if, if you got the power to set the theme and the tone for this world, then you've got the power to set the theme and the tone for this world. So who messed up the world the ones that's got the power to set the theme and the tone for the world. They say they don't want you to make but a certain amount of money. And no, it's not going to be enough for you to live off of. But so what? Because we're dependent on this group of people. It's going to take this group of people right here too. Standing. I know not. They may not. You know, It's going to take them standing up for this country. Because money is power. Let's just keep it real. And it doesn't mean that money is anything. It just means that we live on a, uh, in a money system. So that's why I say money is power. Because if you got money, you can manipulate the system. It's going to take these people looking around realizing, yeah, I might be living good now, but what about, but I might not always be living good, and what about when they come from me? Oh my God, Woo. See, people don't care as long as they think they're okay. But what about when these folk come for you? What about when they start uh, taking your rights away and, and making your life difficult? You know, and I'm not, of course, I'm not pointing the finger at these folks, but I'm just saying that for people that are comfortable, don't be. Don't be. Because devils ain't got no love. And the devil don't love nobody. The only thing the devil cares about is supremacy and money and power. That's it. That's it. That's all. So I don't know what else to say. That's all I've been given, I feel, or in my cup today to pour out. Um, hopefully it'll ruffle some feathers out there and some people will get to develop the things because see this is the way I'm looking at it and I, I um, let me see this is how I'm looking at it you take these houses that I do down here these large houses that are overly priced and it's very expensive if you build a smaller house but more houses and you set the, the, uh, 
the, the rate of the house or whatever um, to a decent amount of money that these folks can afford, you can multiply the monies that these people would pay and it could equal to what the smaller amount of money that these people pay and then these people have somewhere to live. And these people do too. You get what I'm saying? I'm, maybe I'm not explaining the way I want to because I'm rushing, but this is what I'm saying. We know that a smaller group of people can afford these larger expensive houses than, than, than uh, we know a large, a smaller group of people can afford these houses more than the larger group. But if they build smaller, more affordable houses and they build more of them, it can equal to the amount of money that they're receiving from the larger houses. Are y'all following me? You get what I'm saying? Because if you multiply the salaries, if you multiply these people, and let's just say each one of these were in a house, what they are charged to buy a house or rent a place can equal to the amount of money these folks paying, and this is a lesser group. I know I didn't explain the way I want to, but somebody out there will get it. The same way they're building these humongous houses that can't nobody afford and building these apartment complexes and they just think, oh, well, they're just so wonderful that they're just going to throw the, throw the money up to sky high in each unit. You know what you need to do? You need to build smaller houses so that um, these families can have somewhere to live and these little children can grow up in clean environments without wor worrying about hearing gunfire all night or a bullet coming through the window. Or somebody snatching a woman off the street, raping her because she don't have nowhere to stay and she's sleeping on the sidewalk. You need to do something. I don't know who you are out there. I don't know who you are out there. But I'm telling you today, you need to do something other than sit up there and get a paycheck and say it ain't nothing you can do when it, is, when it is your job to set the thing and the tone for this world. That's all I got to say about it. And like I said, you guys, I, it may not, my message may not come across as eloquent as I had intended, but I'm rushing and I want to make sure that this conference gets loaded and it's not too long. I had much more I wanted to say. I got much more information. But I think that people can get the gist. It's not about how huge the house is. It's about smaller houses, more houses, but at an affordable rate so that these people can um, stop sleeping on the ground, living outside, have somewhere to use the toilet. Don't have to go to nobody's house, uh, abandon houses and buildings and things of that nature. There is something that can be done. And there are those of us out here, we are not asleep. We are awake. We know that this is deliberate. And we're not going to stand for it. And we're going to keep speaking out on it. And we're going to, at least I am my way, and keep pushing for the folk that's trying to commit deliberate genocide to get up out of there. You don't need that job. If you don't know how to do your job, you need to be fired, just like anybody else. You don't do your job, you need to be fired. Or quit. That that that's uh you know what? That's how it's, that, that's how it's done in the world. Why is it these folks act like they don't know what to do? Oh, we don't know the answers. We don't You know what the answer is because you the one creating the problem. Enough said. With that said, God bless you all until next time. God bless you. Let me tell you something out there. God is still on the throne, okay? Wait, I say, upon the Lord. Wait, I say, upon the Lord. God bless you all until next time. Bye-bye.